<sighs> no! I don't want to do it. But I have to. This is why I have to kill you. I want to be the ruler of the whole planet. But that won't work because you're trying to harm others. No! You killed my friend. Now, I think you should really stop. I am going to kill you now. Damn it, I'm out of ammo. Guys, he... He did it. Who did it? What is it? Tell me now. The president defeated the commander. But we still have elite soldiers and the colonel. We need to be safe. My son is out there. I'm heading out. No. If you go out there, you could die and there's no way you would never come back remember this is only a one-time mission and we has no coming back i think you have a point i do want also carl and tommy elise jenny jenna and everyone else that i didn't mention to survive this is what i want to have there's only nine weeks left until they set up the nuclear bombs. How many nuclear bombs are they setting up? One, three, five, six hundred nuclear bombs. Oh wait, I think I found the research. Guys, the commander has killed, but the colonel is still alive. But we need to figure out a way to stop this war. Dad, it's 37. How are we supposed to do this? I can't do anything. You can check by looking at my phone. Look. William, I'm warning you. We got breaking news, Robloxians. The president has died from an assassination by the commander's chief. He died today by one of the soldier's commanders. About 20,000 people have gathered at the funeral today of the passing of the president. I'm going to let Tommy take the talking here. I was really sad today about what happened today. He was such a kind person. I just wish that he would live longer. But always remember one thing. You could lose a life, but you aren't lonely forever though. That was one person who that told me that motto. I am at the explosive site of the scene. Can you please point at the bottom? Oh, oh yes, sorry. We lost a lot of lives today. About 15 million from today to seven weeks ago died. Back to you, Joe. Well, thank you, Tommy. Well, that's all the news for now, but we have one special episode tomorrow about the passing of the president. But we have everyone in mind right now. Who will be the next president, you might be asking? Well, we will just find out next episode then. See ya, everyone. Oh, gosh, darn it. I was looking forward to the next episode. Yeah, the passing of the president was sad. How old did he die? Girl, that is so rude. By the way, he's was 83. Guys, uh, I think you should look outside. Then try not to be seen. There's someone looking at us. Are you talking about those soldiers that we had there two weeks ago that captures us? And put us into a cell? Well, I hated that. Yes, I was talking about those soldiers. They're outside right now. Wait, who are you? What are you doing in our house? I can't tell you much though, but I can't show my face. Wait, are you Jenny? I've sworn I've seen you before. I don't care, reveal yourself. Okay, I will. I am Gordon. I have been elected though for being the next president. Aren't you too young to be president? It doesn't matter though. Wait guys, hide! The soldiers are coming! The lights are off, so that means they're coming. Search the area, soldier number 85. Yes, sir.
Okay, let's find these people. Look. Rats. No one here. <laughs> Why don't we start a fire, don't we? No one here. Huh, that's weird. I know everyone should be on this floor. Let's see here. Seriously? No one here? Sir, the suspects have gone. Sure, sir. I'll report you back at the base, sir. Crap, that was so close. Everyone come here to the middle. Here's the tip. Always close the lights inside your house. Got it. <laughs> Everyone, can you smell that? Do you think, guys, it's a... Uh... Guys, there's going to be a fire. If the cast is inside the courts. So if you turn the lights on, the lights will explode. No, not my house. It's burning. Not my documents. I'm sorry about your house, Dr. Harlow. Everyone, I do have a place you can stay for the whole time. I can rent you a free house. Really, Mr. President, but not really one? Yes, I mean it. Here's the house, everyone. It has everything you can imagine. And I have some soldiers that will be guarding your house at all times. Thank you, Mr. President. Hello? Okay, got it. You want to sign up? Name, please. Okay, thank you. Meet us tomorrow at 430 hours. Sir, another person in the army's decided to just sign up. Who is this person? A man named Daniel. I know what to do. Brookhaven soldier number five. Get to the helicopter now. Fetch me this Daniel person. Yes, sir. I'm expecting the person to be here, but some soldiers are at the ground. Yes, sir. I'll do it, sir. Got the explosion, sir. So, what they mean is that they're going to try to defend themselves. Your friend Daniel is going to be joining the army, and he will be going there tomorrow. Wow, my own son as a soldier in the Brookhaven army? Wow. But at least he's an adult now. He's mature enough to take care of himself. 
Okay, but tomorrow I have to leave all of you. I am running for president in the election as the new president of Brookhaven.